Hey guys, my name is Josh. Today we're going to talk a little bit about audio quality. So right now I'm filming this video with the Fuji X-T200 digital camera. I got it a few months back and I've been really happy with it. It's been pretty much my workhorse camera for the last few months uh, for the videos on this channel and my other channel, Saving Green. So check that out if you're interested. And I was just listening to the videos a little bit more closely and as I've been editing them I've noticed that there's a bit of a hum, a bit of a background hiss and just the quality of the preamps isn't so great. So I wanted to see well is there a cheaper alternative to upgrade my sound and see if I can get a little bit cleaner audio uh, without breaking the bank. So the first thing I thought was to get a cheap lav mic like this and I plugged it in to the camera and I will show a clip from my other channel Saving Green in just a minute with the audio quality from the lab into the camera as a comparison to what you're hearing right now, which again is just the onboard mic. Now the preamp from the camera and all the settings was set at minus 15 decibels, which does get rid of some of the background hum and um, kind of minimizes the gain a little bit. What I found though is that when I plug the mic in, it's better but still not great. And there are drawbacks to both of those options. So I thought, well, what if I plugged it into my iPhone as a third option to see if that improves the sound quality? So let's take a comparison of these three different options. This is the first one. This is the onboard mic on the X-T200 without any EQ set except for the preamp at minus 15 decibels. So what happens when you start throwing stuff into the bin? Well, within a few days, certain bacteria are going to quickly go to town and ramp up the temperature dramatically to about 160 or 170 degrees Fahrenheit or even higher. Let's see if this is going to work. Now the audio is coming from the phone directly. Um, you can see here that I'm running a live recording and I have the lab plugged in through a lightning adapter just as a test. All right, let's compare. Now the reason why I wanted to do this study is because I was actually thinking of getting uh, a wireless lab that would allow me to be farther from the camera and be a little bit more flexible. But there are some issues with wireless mics. Obviously you have to keep the batteries charged, plus you have latency issues. Uh, I was looking, for example, at the Cinco G1, which seemed to be pretty compelling at about 100 bucks for one receiver and one mic. It included a lab and dead cat and other nice accessories, including a case. But now I think I might just forego that and for now um, save my money maybe uh, for an upgraded lens in the future. But just actually use the phone and I can keep it in my pocket, I can keep it recorded. It's basically like a wireless setting and even though I'm not quite proficient with it yet, just with a little loud motion or a clap that will sync the audio in post or in the film editing software of your choice, it's very doable even for a novice like myself. So and now that I've synced the audio once again, this is, I think, probably the best option. This is audio from the phone synced up with the video from the camera that gives, I think, really clear audio without any sort of background hiss. I think the preamps in the phone are just the best. So I think for a $15-$20 solution, I picked up this lab for about that price on Amazon. I will link down below to the specific model. It really doesn't matter. I think for a cheap solution, this is probably an excellent choice for most people. Now, yes, you could get a shotgun mic. The problem with those is they often need their own power supply, like a battery or um, separate power source. And that is, again, more expensive and it's still not perfect. It's still being close to the camera lens can pick up some movement from the autofocus, whereas a lab being farther away shouldn't pick that up. Additionally, uh, getting an XLR or a boom mic requires an arm, it requires separate power, it requires a receiver. I don't really know anything about that. And yeah, it'd be great to learn. And as I get more involved with video production, that may be something to get in the future for perhaps the best quality audio. But I'm a one-man operation here. I want to keep things simple. And this is simple. Yes, it does require to sync it up in the uh, video software that I'm using, which is Filmora 9, but uh, or Filmora 10. But I think that, yeah, it's definitely doable, and I think the quality is quite good. So let me know what you think. This is, again, audio that you're hearing now coming directly from the lab, from the phone, sync with the camera, versus the preamp of the camera using the onboard mic and the preamp from the camera using the same wired lab. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.